Hello my friends, it is Tuesday, August something. What, 20th, 19th? I don't know, I can't keep up with things like that. Um, but I'm popping in to make a quick update video. Sorry, the air conditioning is blowing my hair, it's very hot. I'm driving to LA for an event and I just wanted to pop in and give you an update on my what can you do in 90 days. So for those of you who don't know me, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy uh, a little over five years ago. My highest weight was 400 pounds. My lowest was 198. Today I am um, right around 235. So there has been some regain, which I am working on because I need to lose it to get plastic surgery. Um, and I have a plan to do that early next year. So I decided I'd been screwing around with it. So I did setting a 90 day challenge for myself where I thought about what can I do in 90 days? And here's what I thought of. Originally I thought let's lose, and I started this last week, so today is day eight. Um, lose 25 pounds, do 50 strength training workouts, drink 90 gallons of water, um, drink 90 gallons of water, do 4,500 sit-ups, and do 90 minutes of planks during those 90 days. So eight days in, I'm down two pounds. I um, am doing keto. I am finally, slowly, getting into ketosis. <laughs> um, I'm at, uh, I was at like 0.6, I've been, I've had, I was 0.2 on Saturday, then 0.3, then 0.4, and then 0.6 today, so eventually I might get up to a one. But I'm actually in ketosis. Um, so that's good, that's what I'm doing for my food plan. Uh, I know it works. I just am not always able to stay on it forever, which is a problem, but we'll see. Right now it's what I'm gonna, it's what I'm doing and we'll see where we end up with this. Um, I, so 50 strength training workouts. I've worked out four times with Brandon this week. I have done, I don't know, like 210 sit-ups maybe. I don't have my little tally in front of me, but I'm posting pretty, I haven't in a couple days, but pretty much I'm posting an update on Instagram. Um, every day. My uh, Instagram name is bless letter N release baby bless N release baby on Instagram. I encourage you to follow me and let me know there what you're gonna do what you think you can do in 90 days and it doesn't have to be my 90 days. Your 90 days can start today or tomorrow or whatever but I have one friend who's committed to walking 90 miles in 90 days. I know someone else has committed to no bread for 90 days. Um, and then pretty much most days, at least during the week, the weekend, sometimes I get distracted, but mostly during the week, I'm updating on Instagram to let you know where I am in terms of my tally. And if you tag me in your posts, I will share your posts as well. So workouts are fine. I'm working out in the afternoon now. I used to work out super early in the morning. So now I'm trying to take my lunch break and go work out because I got used to not waking up so early and I didn't want to do it and I don't want to do it. And if I have the option not to do it, that's what I prefer. So that's what we're playing around with. So that means a couple times a week, I'm at the gym and doing the workouts without my trainer, but he leaves the workout on the board for me and I just do it. I have to admit, I cheated a little bit today. He wanted me to do 250 jump ropes before my workout and 250 jump ropes after. I did the 250 before. I did not do the 250 after, but I'd already been there an hour. I wanted to go home. Mm. Um, and planks, I don't know. I've got like four minutes of planks, something like that. So the, the one I think I'm going to have to take out of the proposition is the water. Because, um, number one, I, I take hydrochlorothiazide all the time for water retention. And um, it, I know Tanya has some of the, Tanya Voodoo Queen, Voodoo Queen, VSG, Tanya VS. I don't can't remember. I can't keep up with people's YouTube names. But anyway, I think Voodoo Queen um, has a, has a similar issue, and she says she has a really hard time when she drinks as much water as you know most people are suggested, which isn't even a gallon. Usually, that's like sixty four ounces. And so I'm trying, but I actually ran out of hydrochlorothiazide and uh, like two days ago, and I've bopped up like three pounds uh, just from not having that, and my ankles are swollen already. So I called for a refill 
and so we'll see but I made and that's the one that's stressing me out and I don't I don't want to stress out and think I'm being a fuck up I think doing losing 25 pounds and doing this workout stuff is fine so I think I'm gonna remove the water goal and just continue to drink my water because it's basically uh, mostly all I drink um, I have my cup that voodoo queen made and I'm not sure how many ounces this is like 20 this is my fourth one. I'm on my fourth one today. Um, so what have I realized during this? I, this lap first week, I'll tell you what I realized. I realized um, that I had let my sweet tooth get away from me. The first couple days were super hard because I was totally craving sweets. Last Monday when I started, I threw it, all the crap out of my house that was remotely uh, carby. And um, I literally was waking up in the middle of the night going through the um, pantry trying to find something sweet to eat. But that seems to have passed. Uh, the other thing I noticed, because the other thing I'm not doing, I'm not, um, I didn't set a goal around alcohol, but I am really trying to be aware of it and limit particularly the champagne because, uh, I don't know, I just, like, I think I said this last week, I can't just have one glass of champagne, I have to have all the glasses of champagne. So, I've been really trying to limit it, and so I'm feeling like I can't eat what I want, I can't drink what I want, and it's bringing up some anxiety um, in me. I noticed uh, over the weekend that I did something that I hadn't done since early in my weight loss. I had food at home, and I wasn't hungry, but I felt the need to go to the store and have other food options available in case I did get hungry or wanted. And that's something I did like right after weight loss surgery. So I went to the store and I got a salad from the salad bar and I got some chicken. So it was stuff that was in my, you know, framework. I didn't get Halo Top because I just, yes, Halo Top is low carb, lower carb and low calorie, but it's just too, it's too many carbs for me. And it, I need to stay on top of that sweet tooth craving. So I'm being aware, oh, am I driving the wrong way? No. Um, I'm trying to be aware of these, it's not even emotional triggers, but I think that a lot of us use food and alcohol and shopping and playing Candy Crush and going on Facebook and Instagram and all the things. To quell our anxiety and um, oops and um, when you don't have your preferred methods of curbing your anxiety it, stop, it starts to cramp up and you cramp up it starts to pop up and you don't know exactly what to do with it so playing around with that just being aware of how I'm feeling and trying not to make any um, shitty decisions uh yeah so that's what i got for this week you guys have a great week make sure and let me know if you're doing the 90 day challenge along with me follow me on instagram come play with me and i will talk to you guys later bye